Hey team, this video will serve as a guide to get you through our science and music activity. So once you are in the slideshow, you can go ahead and click through the slides. The first thing really to do is on the third slide, we can go ahead and watch this video. It's a wonderful video and I suggest you watch the entire thing. On the next slide, go ahead and tap where it says tap here and it should take you to the spectrogram. When it loads up, you'll notice that there are several dots on the bottom of the screen. When you tap the different dots, it'll display that instrument on the spectrogram. So, for example, if you touch the finger, you can actually use your finger on your iPad to draw different sounds. If you go higher, obviously the sound goes higher. If you go low, the sound goes low. Um, if you move a bunch like I am, it'll have a bunch of weird different sounds. If you tap the other buttons, it'll play for you. Also, when it hits the end, it'll actually go back to the beginning. It'll loop for you. So go ahead and listen for a little bit. Now, if you tap the microphone, it'll ask for permission to use your microphone, which is fine. So go ahead and click allow. Now, whenever you start speaking or talking into the spectrogram, you'll notice that it'll pick up your voice. Uh, there's a lot of fun things you can do with this one. You can change the sound of your voice. You can make it go higher. You can make it go lower. You can make it go louder. Um, and you can make some pretty interesting shapes with it. So go ahead and give that a try if you have a microphone. You'll need to use the spectrogram to answer the question on the Google Classroom. Go ahead, head over there, and find your science and music question. 